Hi guys, it's Troy at the Full Setup here, back with another video today. And today I'm a little bit late to the party with this. I've got a quick overview for you of the um, Asus Z97 AR motherboard. Now I bought this motherboard second hand for the bargain price of £45 um, and it's all part of something I'm doing on my channel now. I was on a bit of a tight budget and I needed a higher end gaming rig because I've already got all the other parts I need um, and was I able to build a relatively modern overclocked i5 system which I have because I'm pairing this with an i5-4690K and all of it's cost me just over £180 just for the board um, and the processor. So if you want to go see that video go over and have a look at the channel um, and also if you would... Uh, I like to see benchmarks and all this one that's running they should be over in the next week or so now before I start to show you the motherboard I would like to apologize I'm also on a tight budget to um, tight budget tight time uh, Katie keeps kicking off about me getting the garden finished by the end of July so my hands are battered and there's mud everywhere I know what people are like for picking out dirty fingernails and I have them so let me just get the specs of the motherboard in front of me because I can't quite remember what they are because I do normally quite heavily research a product before I get it um, but this was a little bit of just a eBay scramble so I'm going to sh just quickly show you this board I'm going to show you the ports and I'm going to do what I normally do and I'm going to zoom in and we're just going to see both halves at a time which sort of allows you to get a nice closer look as well now there was a little gripe as well I've tested this board it's fully working and everything um, has got a slight being second hand it looks worse on camera but it's got a slight little bend on it which is resolved when you screw it into um, place in the uh, case. Um, not a, it's a mistake I've made before, and it's one for you all to know if you didn't know before, is to never, you've really got to not over tighten your heat sinks. If you over tighten your heat sinks, you will bend your board. I've seen ones where they've literally dip, curve, and dip again. So that looks worse on camera than it is, but you know that's what I get for 45 pounds this mud board still 140 quid brand new um, and then I'm gonna before we zoom in I'll show you the ports now the ports they are a little bit shiny as you can still see that slight bend there as well um, and we've got a HDMI and a display port for your integrated graphics and we've got two USB 2.0s four USB 3.0 um, you've got your mouse keyboard port and you've got the uh, gigabyte LAN, Intel LAN, and then you've just got your 7.1 channel audio and your SP div. So it's a big space on there. For a motherboard that should be 140 quid, there's a little shy on the parts for me. So let's zoom in because there's lots of other good features on it. So here we are on the top half of the uh, board, and as you can see, sort of clearly on, we've got some nice heat sinks um, here just for all your voltage regulations and everything. Not like these sort of gaming level heat sinks that you see, but they do look nice, and this is better than, you know, the Asus Gold. That was my worry when I was doing this on a budget. I was like, I guarantee I'm going to get an Asus Gold motherboard, and I'm going to have to take all the heat sinks off and spray them. Um, if you want to see that, go over to the channel and have a look. Um, and then also we've got the 8 pin power as well um, and we've got the first chassis fan as well just down here which is a 4 pin PWM now the most important thing about buying this board is although it's a little, I got it a little bit bent is that not one of the pins is bent on here I have already removed the back plate because I've just been testing it out on my own back plate as well because um, I did want to get it all powered on once I've seen it was bent um, and then up at the top here we have this is um, CPU fan number one, and then behind it, if you can see here, we've got CPU fan number two. Then we've got the four DDR3 RAM slots, which I think are rated all the way up to about um, 3000, 3200 overclock. I'm only gonna be using 1866 RAM in this. This is literally a gaming PC. It's not, it's not for editing or anything. I've built my rendering PC. And again, if you it's in the channel, go and have a look at that. So yeah, we've got four slots which can hold a maximum of 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Um, and then here we have, it's called chassis fan number four, but we'll call that number two. So there's four fans in total, which is uh, really good to see. Um, then we've got the 24 pin ATX power down here. You've got the USB 3.0 header. And over here we have the M.2 port um, for using with uh, M.2 SSDs. And then what have we got here? We've got a PCI Express uh, 2.0 by one mode, does that look like? Yeah, that's what that looks like. It looks like by one mode. 
and that's at the top. I'll show you all the other piece size in a minute. So should we look at the bottom half of the board? But the top half looks good. Oh, forgot to mention over here we've got the Easy XMP switch and we've got the Memory OK tester as well. So yeah, it's quite a nice looking board. This does look like something looks a little bit more refined than your Laria gaming one. Like I was trying to find a Larry gaming one, but they're all red and I don't like the red builds as you'll know. So let me show you these SATA ports on the side and then we can just put it down. So we have a SATA Express, which I've never used, um, and then another four SATA ports as well. Yeah, not really. I think my next sort of SSD upgrades are gonna be the M.2. I'm not really that interested in the um, SATA Express. So let's start down over here then. What have we got? We've got um, an EPU switch for the energy. Um, we've got TPU switch for the trusted platform, is that? Um, and then just various little headers and stuff. That's looking like probably like a clear CMOS or something like that. Um, and then we've got chassis fan number three as well. Um, down the bottom here we have what appears to be all the USB. We have three USB headers. And we've got another chassis fan as well. So that's four chassis fans plus your two CPU. That's six PWM fans. That's absolutely brilliant. And then down here we've got all the power stuff as well. Um, and then we've got the trusted platform uh, header. And it's got a power switch on it as well. Which I've only just started to buy high-end motherboards that come with power switches on them. Which is great because otherwise I've got to jump them with keys or something. Then what do we have here? That's looking like we've got some audio like sort of different audio parts sb diff out as well so i haven't really researched this board too much um and then we've got the crystal sound 2 um with the strip that goes all the way down it as well um the led strip that basically shields it and makes the audio sound loads better blah 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 um so let's go to the pc ports now we have three pci express 2.0 by 16 mode or by 8 mode um so yeah, you're probably only gonna really run up to two graphics cards in this max due to the um, PCI and LA limitation on um, Haswell-based processors. Then we have the other PCI 2.0 by 16 mode. Do you like that there's one over the top, so if you've got sort of like an adding card um, and you've got two graphics cards, you can make them all fit. Um, and like that the PCIs are here as well, hidden out of the, um, the two PCI um, ports are actually sort of tight up to here because I don't like on motherboards when they're like one step down and then it's just blocks it just I can't get to anything I just don't sort of like their positioning sometimes again they've done it here so if you put a graphics card in you probably might be able to fit something in there it might take it over but you don't know but there we go there's just all the ports there's me rambling oh no I forgot we've got the Z97 chipset as well there so um just hope that just hope that helps anyone that wanted a bit of a closer look at the board sorry i don't know too much about it yet i'm too busy sort of getting this whole pc built to be fair and gardening but um if you like these videos please go over to the channel um and don't forget to subscribe